Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Some time ago I closed my channel and um, I've got low subscribers that still keep watching my other videos and commenting on it. So in the last month or two, I received a lot of inquiries about why I closed my channel and I should keep it going. I'm not sure how is it different from other channels and there's so much good information uh, on YouTube and on the web. What I decided to do is if I add value to my subscribers or random people on the internet, I'll keep posting random videos that would answer questions that uh, people put on my other video when they comment. So the most Last question lately is about electrolytes, which is uh, magnesium, calcium, potassium, and sodium. Um, I'm not sure why people are taking um, electrolytes and why they're drinking it. First of all, I would like to um, discuss drinking electrolytes. So I'm totally against uh, package commercial electrolytes and reason is that they're designed for taste. They've got a lot of artificial flavors and ingredients that uh, make it nice to drink. But the whole idea of drinking electrolyte, it's actually replete electrolytes. So you need to consume electrolytes that your body is missing and help your body to recover from your exercise or something else. I will give you an example why I consume electrolytes and why it is important in my life. Um, as part of my exercising regime, I um, visit sauna. Um, sauna is very beneficial for health and as a result of exercise and sauna, I do sweat a lot. I probably lose close to, I don't know, between two to three liters of water during my session, which includes exercise and sauna. When you are on ketogenic diet, carnivore diet, or any non-carbohydrate diet, on top of your exercise regime, you tend to excrete a lot of uh, electrolytes through urine, through sweat, through other mechanisms. And um, some electrolytes are abandoned in our diet, such as sodium and most of the time calcium. Some electrolytes are not as um, common, which is magnesium and potassium. Uh, and it is really hard to consume potassium and magnesium from diet. And the reason is that because first of all, our soils are depleted from those minerals, so vegetables and, and other um, uh, chain, food chain uh, events grow um, and, and without uh, sufficient amount of those minerals. Uh, the second one is um, you need to eat a lot of different versatile foods to achieve right amount of mag magnesium and potassium if you exercise uh, a lot or go to sauna like myself. So I do consume potassium and magnesium uh, separately. So what I'll do, I'll post down link below uh, in, in video description where I get my uh, magnesium and potassium from. Potassium is very cheap um, mineral. Um, in Australia I'll get it I think below $30 uh, for one kilogram of potassium, pure potassium, hydrochloride potassium uh, from, from Amazon. Um, uh, one kilo of potassium enough for me probably more than half a year. I take a half teaspoon in the morning after gym and half teaspoon at the night time um, when I'm going to sleep. Magnesium, it's a little bit tricky business. I'm located in Australia. None of the chemists or pharmacies in Australia sell good quality potassium. Most of the potassium, so uh, magnesium. Most of the uh, magnesium that's sold in our pharmacies is magnesium oxide or heavy oxide. It's not chelated magnesium. It's not bioavailable and won't do uh, much good for you. Uh, depends why you consume magnesium. There's a three main magnesiums that are affordable and uh, I'll say potent as, as will do um, uh, a lot of good things for you. Uh, one is controversial, uh, it's called magnesium citrate. Um, if you consume too much of it, it may create uh, diarrhea. 
but it's really good potassium uh, magnesium to, to consume when you are predisposed to kidney stones I don't consume magnesium citrate because I don't have uh, uh, much need for it I do consume magnesium glycinate so magnesium glycinate um, help you to relax your muscles calm nerve system and sleep so I consume magnesium glycinate 400 milligrams um, before going to bed and I consume uh, magnesium malate magnesium malate help you with fatigue uh, and muscle recovery so I consume magnesium uh, malate in the morning and magnesium glycinate before going to sleep also I would like to remind my subscribers that I'm against supplements that you can get from a diet uh, if you'd like me to talk about other um, supplements that people usually take and i don't i'm uh, more than happy i just don't want to create any controversial subject i would like to create videos that are useful that help people to make their own decisions i'm not profiting from any endorsement i'm not profiting from um any uh, perks um, uh, from anyone so uh, the whole idea of my channel is to give truth um, somewhere between scientific community and people that take it without thinking why they take it and if they produce enough benefit or at all to person that takes it so I will chip away mineral by mineral uh, supplement by supplement um, and try to help people to understand why they need or don't need to take supplements also if you'd like to hear about exercise regime or how to lose weight or how to be healthier or happier or anything like that please comment down below um, and I'll create videos uh, based on the comments uh, that, that you put in I'm not sure if I can run channel full-time as I used to before but I promise you I will answer all the questions and also we'll create new videos based on demand for the content thank you so much for listening until next time greek from britain australia